Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nazanice. Nice. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, I have a few videos you're going to see in the same sort of outfit. I apologize, but there are going to be three videos with this hoodie on. Um, this is a hoodie that my brother gave me, so it's black with like roses on it. So yeah, but um, yeah, so this first video is going, oh, excuse me, is going to be my sort of unboxing from my sis over at Quilts and Beauty and Books. So she had a giveaway on her channel and I entered into the giveaway and there were two prize winners. So I won one box and then there was another young lady and my box is here. So I'm like ready to open it up for you guys and share with you guys what I got and I'm like so excited I know some of the items because she did speak about them in her giveaway video as well as in Oh my god, was it her book haul that she did? I think it was a book haul. I'll leave a link to both of those You could just click the item screen for that. So I know some of the things but a lot of the things in here are like I don't know. So we're gonna get into it and um, Yeah, so I have the box right here I didn't look in so Let's dive in so on top I'm excited I'm excited I'm like really excited for the Bible so much because I believe it's an amplified Bible and it's one of the Bibles that I really wanted from Joyce Myers um there were two I wanted from Joyce Myers and I believe one of them is in here so um on top is just this Merry Christmas wrapping paper not wrapping paper wrapping paper no tissue paper that's what this is so tissue paper um okay we have a Too Faced sketch marker you're so Too Faced in black it's a liquid art liner and if you guys don't know um well you should know by now but i do makeup artistry on the side i'm a freelance makeup artist have been for 10 years now uh no 11 10 10 years i started in 2009 i didn't really get serious until 2010 so about 10 years um i've been doing makeup artistry and i adore it i believe it's a gift that god gave me to help women feel beautiful and um my whole thing with makeup is you don't need a lot of makeup to, to cake on your face and um a little bit is a lot to me and what i mean by that is you don't need to like i said cake thousands of pounds of makeup i don't like when females cake their face with makeup my philosophy is you use a little to enhance what god already gave you so like if you want to enhance your eye color if you want to enhance your lip shape um, I don't think you should completely alter how you look with makeup. That's just me personally. That's my philosophy. So I do a lot of like beauty related um, makeup like bridal photo shoots, birthday parties and things like that. I've done performance makeup before. I've done video shoots, movies before. But um, I really just love working with the everyday woman. That's my kind of thing. So I love doing that. But I've been looking for some liquid eyeliners lately because the one that I love is by Jordana, which I used to find at Walmart, but I haven't been able to find the Jordana brand. It's called the Jordana Fabuliner. It is the cheapest, but the best liquid eyeliner I've ever used in my life. Like the cheapest, I think it's like two, three dollars. It is so good. And it comes in a pen like this. The pen is a little bit thicker, but um, yes, we have this and I'm excited. I've been looking for a new one and I just couldn't find one. So we have a new one. You'll see in my upcoming um, book look makeup tutorial that I did for Daughter of Rome by Tessa Afshar. I did one on that. I was struggling with my eyeliner because it was dried out and I was using a gel eyeliner. Yeah, so we love liquid pens. pens. Um, okay, then we have this container. That's cute. It has little red birds on them. I think they're red birds. Don't quote me on it. Um, it says season greetings. I don't know what's in here, but this container is cute. I will use it. this okay if you guys don't know um i love i used to be a wax melt person i love candles don't get me wrong candles are amazing i love the flames and everything like that but for me i used to love melting waxes which basically is like a wickless candle um and then i got into oil diffusers through review products that i had to do and i fell in love with them and she sent me some and i'm here for it and they're mainstays i basically want my brand <laughs> i'll be here for it so she sent me lavender I love lavender. Lavender, if you guys don't know, is my favorite color ever. Um, and then it's one of my favorite scents. I love lavender and orange blossom so much. So um, she sent me lavender in this big container. And I have thousands of lavender, so I'm definitely going to give my mother one of my old ones and keep this one. But sis, thank you. We love. Um, then she sent two from Better Home and Gardens, which is also from Walmart. So this one is in lemon. I don't think I own a lemon one. 
so that's good and then this one is in sweet orange which i do own a sweet orange so i'm probably going to keep this one and give my mother my other sweet orange one but yes and i love mixing lavender with sweet orange it is so good it is so freaking delicious um there are two more in here so this one is from rising sun and it's lavender <laughs> we are here for lavender you guys i i adore lavender and this one is from Now Essential Oils, which I do I do know about Now as a um, brand because I used to use their oils in my hair, their almond oil and jojoba oil. Um, but this one is in Spearmint, which is Spearmint is going to be great for the winter months. It's been stuffy lately, but yes, that's awesome. Thank you so much, sis. Oh, and I'm keeping it. This canister smells so good. I'm going to find something. I might stick in. Um, Let me just see. Because when I read my fantasy novels, I write on index cards. Let me see if my index cards are fit in here. They will lay in here, but not snugly. So, I don't know. I'm going to find something to use that for. For sure. I might just stick it. Oh, I could use it for my TBR jar. Because I'm working on a new TBR jar. I did one video previously on a TBR jar, but I'm going to do another one. So, I might use this for my TBR jar and put it on my shelf. <laughs> might do that. I'll put my magnetic bookmarks in here. We'll see. But we have that. Thank you. All right. So, more tissue paper. Okay. Okay. I know about that. I know about. Okay. So these. Ooh. ooh. More makeup. So this one is another eyeliner. This one is from Tarte. It is man. It's Man Eater. So liquid eyeliner from Tarte. Also pen great we love liquid eyeliners and then this one is from Lancome now I used to work with Lancome and Macy's um I had worked at Macy's in 2012 for these sort of winter months and I was an on-call beauty advisor and basically what that is is wherever there were slots available I could basically pick up slots at any counter I ended up having a good report with um Lancome, Estee Lauder, and Chanel and also Clinique, but Clinique never really had a lot of slots open. So I really mainly worked at Lancome, Estee Lauder, and Chanel. And I fell in love with the Lancome counter. I fell in love with their skincare products. I use a lot of their skincare products. Um, so I know all about Lancome. I love their makeup. I don't really care for their foundation, but that's because I'm not a foundation person in general. But um, Lancome left, definitely has like a place in my heart as far as like high-end makeup brands. Love them so much. And their eyeshadows. I use their eyeshadows in my professional makeup kit phenomenal the formula is amazing i digress um she sent me a long come i um liquid eyeliner and this is the grandiose liner in the shade two no 40 pd and they long come has a weird way of like naming their products which i never really cared for but um i love their serums but this is a liquid eyeliner you guys can see so i'm here for it and it's brown yes so I have a black one, two blacks, and a brown. Okay. Then this, I knew she was sending because she mentioned in the video. This is the Too Faced um, Melted Matte Lip Edition. This one is in ginger scented, gingerbread scented. It's a liquefied matte longwear lipstick and um, gingerbread girl. And let's see. Ooh. This is going to be a nice kind of fall winter color. So I'm definitely going to try to rock this. Um, I may include this in one of my next videos. I love... <laughs> I got to say... I don't care for the price of high-end makeup, but their packaging is stunning. And this one is just so cute. I love the little gingerbreads on it. This is a cute color. It says gingerbread scented. Let's see. Oh, that smells like... It doesn't smell like gingerbread, but it smells so good. Like vanilla, brown sugar. Oh, it smells good. So, yes. We're going to try that out for sure. Okay. And then we get to the books. So excited. So, this is one that I didn't know she was sending yeah so i didn't know she was sending this one and um i've always wanted this book um y'all know i have a love-hate relationship with angela hunt and if y'all don't know now you know um a lot of her books i read two or three of her books i've only given them four stars um i don't know what it is i enjoy her books but i don't like love them love them so i give her books four stars all the time and i want to see i've always wanted to read this book so i hoping this will be in my box and it was so i'm excited this one is paul apostle of christ by angela hunt is based on the screenplay by andrew hyatt and it's a novelization of the major motion picture and it says their faith challenged an empire so yeah this one has paul and luke in it and um yeah i'm i'm excited so i'm gonna include this in my december book haul but she sent me paul the apostle of christ which i'm so here for so 
thank you sis um next she did mention this this is a photographic journey journey through liberia by i think it says by the grace of god i don't know i'm sorry guys that, that was probably confusing but um yeah it looks like by the grace of god probably not but she talked about this in her video so i'm not i'm probably not going to do the best of talking about this so um oh no so basically this guy named ben taylor was contacted by a guy from liberia named joel and he said that he needed financial assistance and he was struggling to provide for his family but that ben didn't have money so what he did was he sent him a camera and told him to take some pictures of the living conditions in liberia and that's basically what prompted this book um, and they work together, and the proceeds to this goes to helping other people, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's what she said in the video, and that's what the forward says. So, it's just pictures, and this is going to be a nice one to have, like, a coffee table book. So, this is nice. Okay. Bookmarks! I love magnet bookmarks, so we have these. They say Faith, Hope, Love. I'll probably share with my mom, because my mom loves bookmarks as well, so... Oh, and then these ones say hope, joy, and faith. Oh. On the bottom. There they go. So that's awesome. Then this one she did mention in the video. So this one is um, Fragments of Fear by Carrie Stewart Parks. Um, and this is... I don't know if this is like suspense or thriller. But it says stolen art, a New Mexico archaeological dig, an abandoned dog, and a secret that's worth killing for. All right. So I'm going to assume it's like romantic suspense or something along those lines. Um, I'm not sure if this is a part of a series because on the back there's like a cover that looks like this. So I'm trying to see a, a suspense novel. So, okay, we know I'm trying to get into suspense. So, you know, I'm excited and I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it because she sent it to me. So I like this cover though. This cover is gorgeous. It looks sort of creepy and mystery mysterious excuse me so we have that all right and to the big baby in the box the, yeah this is the bible that i wanted but i wanted the um the pink deluxe i think it is i was debating between getting the pink one or the gray one because i i wanted it but i didn't want to get the hardcover but then i really did want to get the hardcover but i knew that i wanted the leather edition so i've, I've been stalling on this bible for like a year now I always put it in my card on Amazon, take it out. I put it in my card on ChristianBook.com, take it out. But I'm glad that I have it now. So, yes. And this is the Amplify, which is why I was excited. Because I really... It was between this Bible and the Battlefield of the Mind Bible. I wanted the Battlefield of the Mind Bible because I do have the actual Battlefield of the Mind book. Um, but God worked it out and I got this in a hardcover. And, oh, that is so pretty. I didn't even realize the hardcover was like... Ooh, okay. You know what, sis? Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Like, I'm excited. Okay? I'm, I'm as ex as I is excited. I can't even speak. <laughs> I'm excited. So, it is the Everyday Life Bible from Joyce Meyer in the Amplified Edition. And um, this is the hardcover edition. But I thought that if you took off the dust jacket, it was like the hardcover printed one. But this one is not. It has this kind of feel to it. So, we are here for it. I finally have an Amplified Bible. Um, this one has book introductions, life points, and everyday life articles. She also has speak the word and then putting the word to work. So, I think this goes with one of the books that she wrote. I can't quite remember, um, but I'm excited. Oh my god. So, definitely we'll have a Bible review on this once I get used to it. But, ooh, and the font in this is so pretty. It's a really large font, but I like that it's purple and, um... Most Bibles come with, like, red, but this one has, like, a really nice purple color. You guys can see, it's like a purple. It's like eggplant, almost eggplant with a little gray undertone to it. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm, like, super stoked. So I got the Bible that was included in the giveaway. Um, two books. So we have this suspense novel, which is Fragments of Fear by Carrie Stewart Parks. We also have the Angela Hunt Paul, the Apostle of Christ. I received this little booklet here, um, which is a photography journey through Liberia. I got some bookmarks. I got a lippy, which I'm here for. I got some oils. 
I got five oils. So two lavender oils, lemon, spearmint, and orange. We are here for it all day, every day. Um, let me take a sip of my tea. Y'all know I got my tea. Pumpkin spice, of course. Um, <laughs> two felt liners and a liquid liner in brown. And then this cute little tin. So... I'm a happy camper, and I will again show the books in my December book haul, which I'm actually going to record right after this video. Not my December book haul. Um, yeah, my December book haul. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> my brain. So um, I'm going to record my December book haul right after this, but you're probably not going to see this video until like a day or two days later. Um, and then after my December book haul, I will have my December wrap up, and then I'm going to make a separate video all about my January TBR. And, um,. Yeah, so by the time you see this video, I will have already started the Faith Reads Readathon that I, you guys know I'm doing in January. And hopefully you guys can't hear my family, they are loud, I apologize. But I'm going to be doing weekly reading blogs that will show you guys how I read and what my thoughts are during the readathon. I'm not sure who's going to join in, I'm just going to be hosting it this first time for this month. If you ladies join in, that's great. If not, that is totally fine. But I wanted to at least get this idea out on the interweb because I know a lot of booktubers, um, a lot of people on booktube do read Christian books, but they don't talk about it. And I feel like the Christian community on YouTube needs to grow. And I feel like more people should get into making a Christian channel. Um, and your Christian channel does not have to be just you talking about God, God, God all the time. It don't have to be like that. There are some people who are gifted at that. But I feel like there's a way for us to incorporate the Lord into everything that we do. The, he should be the center of everything. So whether you're making beauty videos, may God the center of that. Talk about the fruits of the spirit. You know, talk about the word. Talk about a scripture. Um, if you're a booktuber, talk about Christian books. Um, if you do movie reviews, talk about Christian movies. Or if you're watching a secular movie, talk about something that you kind of pulled out of that movie that can be corresponded to a scripture or something like that so i'm definitely gonna talk about how you can start a youtube channel and a blog because i've been meaning to do those for over two years now <laughs> yes but um we're gonna we're gonna push forward and that is it for this unboxing haul i'm so excited so thank you again sis so much definitely i suggest you guys go to her channel and subscribe she does a lot of book reviews she talks about quilting as well she does beauty videos i'm here for it so if you haven't subscribed to her channel go subscribe to her go go subscribe to the sis channel and also subscribe to sisters and pearls which is angela's channel go do it okay those those are my sisters and i love them so much and i love what they're doing and how they're spreading the word of god and i'm i'm here for it um if any of you guys have youtube channels and want me to check it out let me know if any of you guys want to collab on any type of video ideas let me know i will be doing another um kingdom sisters collab video um type of thing soon um probably in the spring the winter didn't go as successful as i wanted it went well like it went great but i didn't do the last video and i know a lot of ladies were having issues as well so definitely i i learned some things during the first trial and error so we're gonna try this again in the spring maybe the summer um so if you guys are interested in that as well just comment down below and i have more information on that as well but we want to end it here so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video bye